This is how a coral reef looks after a storm. But don't worry, these broken coral fragments can still be saved within 45 days. I visited Puerto Morelos in Mexico, a beautiful coastal area which is famous for its coral reefs. And here, storm season starts in June and peaks in October. This usually damage their coral reefs. Started in 2018, the Nature Conservancy in Mexico trained local volunteers to swiftly evaluate and mitigate the damage due to the storm. We call them the brigades. After each storm, the brigades jump into action. And it comes with like the governance part. That means that uh, putting together a committee that is the one who's going to coordinate all the people involved. We're talking about government entities that are the ones who give the permits. The brigades, which is like the first responders that come to the scene and help the coral to be placed back. Repair and consolidate loose coral colonies and broken fragments, ensuring immediate recovery. These teams also collect broken coral pieces and nurture them in nurseries for future transplanting. Remember, acting within 45 days after a storm will significantly boost the chances of coral survival. In the nursery, they will monitor the coral growth and also cleaning and removing algae, reducing competition and giving coral space to thrive. This is also very crucial to measure two variables including light exposure and temperature, in order to ensure optimal conditions for coral rehabilitation. So they are currently developing a prototype tool for this measurement.